Hey YouTubers, it's the shark. Well, I've got a bunch of ribbon wire that I need to process to get at those gold-plated pins, plus some of the other uh, connectors that came off of the boards. I thought I'd take advantage of that and just do a quick hit and show you what I'm working on. Remember, the safest way to watch out for the shark is to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode and be nice and tell your friends about it so they can be watching out for the shark as well. Hey YouTubers, it's the shark. Well, I have myself a lot of ribbon wire to process that came off of those switches. And you may recall when I was depopulating boards, I pulled off some of the connectors that have the gold pins inside, the gold plated pins or wire inside. So I need to get to some processing here. And I thought I would just take advantage of that uh, little effort to show you very quickly um, how, to, how I go about doing this. My guess is most of you have processed these pins before, so you're familiar with them. But just in case there's some new folks out there, it's a pretty quick way, pretty good, quick process. Take some small edge cutters, snip right along the seam between the, the uh, wire the ribbon wire and the connector, and this back brace comes off. Then you can peel the ribbon wire right off. And here are the top edges of the pins that are trapped inside. Now you can either take your edge cutters and very gently give them a tug and there you go, they pull right out. Or if you find that your edge cutters are too big and are cutting the pin tops off, the other thing you can do is take fingernail clippers and grab hold of them with fingernail clippers. They are a little less aggressive and they don't tend to uh, snip off the edges as much as the edge cutters might. You just, I keep both of these tools available when I'm doing this because you never know what's going to work best for the different uh, types of manufactured ribbon wire pins, okay? And then uh, these things, this part here is just uh, trash, plastic trash. All right, so again, you just snip along the edge there, trash, peel the wire off, put the ribbon wire in a separate bucket and there's your top. Now, because I have a lot of pins that I'm uh, gonna be processing, I have two containers ready to go. One, uh, I'm just throwing the connectors into it right away. If I have some pins that come out uh, and are stuck to the ribbon wire, I can pull those out and put those right into the pin bucket right away as well. All right, now the other connector that I'm working on here is um, uh, these guys. Um, so here with, with these, you can see the, the gold-plated pins are inside there. And uh, what you got to do is peel off this metal sheathing, all right? Now, some of these uh, come, come apart pretty easily. Some of them want to be a pain. Uh, so you just got to uh, mess around with it a little bit. This one is being a little bit difficult, not too bad. Uh, just peel that back, all right? And then get underneath there and peel it off of the plastic part. Okay. There you go. Always test your metal uh, because um, I've had... It's lightly magnetic, so that's going to be stainless steel. I've had uh, regular tin, I've had stainless, I've had brass, so you always want to test it. All right, now, sometimes this part will just pop right out and let you add the pins. If it doesn't want to, then what I've found is um, one of the easiest ways to get at the pins is to take my edge cutters, uh, go in here on the side, do a snip there, then come down this way, snip there, all right, now I've broken away the plastic. I have good access to the pins that are inside there. 
And at this point, there's a couple things we can do here, uh, but one of them is just to uh, give a little snip like that and see if the back part will come off, all right? Uh, that'll help you to get at the pins that are down inside there. Now you can just take a screwdriver, run your screwdriver underneath of the pins and bend them out, all right? So that the gold part is exposed, the gold plated part, all right? And then you just snip it off and put those pins in a pin bucket. There you can see one of them came off. Now there's uh, there's still a little bit of tin in in uh, inside of this, so I just throw this in with my metal, my scrap metal. Uh, let's see, this variety here um, is um, brass. The metal part is brass, so you can you can faintly see it on the edge, but I'll show you. I'll I'll, I'll take uh, Dremel and grind off part of it so you can see that very clearly. All right. This one is also pretty easy, uh, just peels right off. And then, um, you can see the brass that's uh, inside there. All right. Now this type of connector is uh, very nice because you can see that it pulls apart that's trash. Now your pins are, are nice and easy to get to. You can take a screwdriver or you can just take your edge cutter, put your edge cutter underneath of there, give it a light bend back. Because what you're looking for is you want to find where the gold plating ends and then you're just in the tin or whatever metal that is, base metal that is. All right. And so then you can snip off those gold-plated parts, put those in your gold-plated pins, and there you have uh, just the uh, base metal pins. And there you have it. Uh, try to snip as close as you can to the gold. So uh, I am going to be busy for a while uh, working on these different connectors. Uh, thought I'd just do a quick hit and uh, show you what I'm working on here, how I'm doing that. Have a great day, y'all.